I'd say firewood's probably my biggest pastime right now. Finding enough dry, like proper dry firewood to burn and stay warm at cold temperatures. It's a lot of work, I tell you right now. Junking it up and splitting it, this is the easy part. Going out in the woods and finding all the dry wood. Tell you, that's where the work comes in. Well, it wasn't that long ago, man. I was over there in that teepee, that little hot tent, trying to stay warm. The night that I got in the cabin, which was the night before Halloween, dropped 30 below. Just in time. And since September 9th to now, feels like a lifetime. It's like two lifetimes. So much has changed. Went from a tent to a cabin to now it feels like a real little house to me. September 9th, I landed in Dawson City for the first time. This is really when it started to turn into a lot of fun. Breaking ground on some land, building a cabin. Holy Christ! That's the awesome city down there, baby. We fucking made it, boys. Holy Christ. I smell gold. Got my maps. Got my fuel, got my food, got everything I need. Everything is ready. All I gotta do now is find a piece of land. We're literally going prospecting. Time to set sail again, sir. Yukon River, here I go. that creek I thought it'd be good because there's two two creeks coming together you can see how steep it is really steep on both sides of the creek which makes it hard down here this one looks a lot flatter maybe not so good for gold right here though I think that would be pretty good that big hill there in the background just at the base of that there's a nice little creek you know it's a good spot for a camp when you got bear tracks. And over here, you got some real nice fresh wolf tracks. Right here. This is it. This is where the cabin's gonna go. It's a good spot. Nice and flat. Lots of good logs. One thing when you're picking a spot to build a log cabin, you want to stand in one place where you think the cabin's going to be, and you want to count. Look around and count how many logs you can see that are the right size for what you want. And I can see a lot. I'm going to break ground for the first time. The gold claim is still a long ways in the woods. It doesn't even start for another mile up the, up the hill. But the very first thing i got to do now is i got to cut a trail just to get in below the claim and then also have a base camp. Now you guys all remember now what chainsaw roll means. This is going to be a real chainsaw roll.
that's day one of construction done. Today was the first day. Today was groundbreaking. Well, I got stove in there now, warming her up, drawing everything out. Calling her early night, nine o'clock now. Hurry up and fall asleep. Wake up sunrise. Got the old coffee water on. Oh, it looks pretty grim here, don't it? 5.30. Sun should soon be coming up. I cannot wait to get out there and start on that chainsaw today. Getting the logs to the pile is always the hardest part. Clear your brush as you cut, because then you can walk through it and the trees aren't getting snagged in every single branch. Also, pile your logs right beside where the cabin's going to be. The cabin's going to be there, I'm just piling here. And you can see i got them all laid out, all the ones that are peeled now. And I'm dropping fresh ones on top. And this is like a big table, you just roll them in. Once you get your logs from the woods onto your rack here, it's easy peasy. You just roll them around. Getting them out of the woods is the hard part. Don't let the weight of the log scare you. Once it's here, light as a feather now. That's it, finished. Logs peeled. Mm, 60 logs, 60 logs, mm, mm. I'm done, I'm done. Mm, 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 mm. It's uh, September 19th here, day number eight on the uh, claim. And it's Saturday morning, 7.30. I'm all geared up now, woke up nice and early, and uh, go straight to town. Gotta get some fresh scrub, boy. I'm eating too much food. My Jesus, be eating like a teenage boy. I'll go around and look for some windows and a wood stove for the cabin. Still got long, man. Maybe three weeks, I'll freeze up four weeks. This is why I live in the woods. This is absolutely amazing this morning. Fog coming off the water, sunrise over the hill. My God, people, get out here. It's amazing. It's overwhelming is what it is. It makes me so happy to be here. So blessed. <laughs> 